Welcome guys, hope you're having a great day today. We're here with the uh, heaven. It's a beautiful game. Meant to play, meant to be played uh, by a couple or by two people <laughs> in love or something similar. But you can also play it if you're single, so let's get ready to mingle. <laughs> Let me check on some. Yep, we're good. Alrighty then. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's see. What's that you got cooking? Apple do stew with apple do's. Mm, didn't we have that yesterday or the day before? No, yesterday it was baked apple do with apple do's, and the day before it was fried apple do's. With apple do's. Oh, I remember now. Sorry, I'm doing what I can to switch up our meals. But in my defense, we have a pretty limited set of ingredients. No offense to you. I'm just getting a little bit tired of the apple dews. Well, I, I guess we'll just have to go for another forage, in case we missed anything. Oh, did you have a chance to look at the engine? Yeah. It does seem like it took some damage upon landing. But I should be able to fix that real quick. Awesome. Your butt's awesome. Say it again to my face. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, with the lights off? Works for me. Uh, <laughs> no. I didn't do that. Ugh, we must have run out of flow. Weren't you supposed to charge up the nest today? Excuse me if I was working on the engine. I can't do everything. No worries. I'll go get some more outside. If I'm lucky, I'll stumble upon something to spice up the apple news. <gasps> I'll come with you. <laughs> right, apple news. Such characters. I love gliding. When I can do it in the astral plane in what you call dreams, it's amazing. Oh, cool. Over there, a flow thread. <laughs> Yep. Perfect. 
Although it seems like one thread won't be enough. No worries, we'll find others. Oh, the hell the hands. What is this? Sprite? Apple do. <laughs> Your favorite, my darling. How many more do you think we need? I don't know. Three? Maybe four? There are plenty of flow threads around here. Do you really think drifting is that useful? It's crucial. It allows you to change direction without having to stop all the time. Do I do that? Yes! Just like that. One or two more threads, and we'll be all set. Collect the whole set. How much for everything? Charged up. Me too. We can go when you're ready. Oh. Sorry, birds. We didn't see you. This should last us a few days. Now it's our turn to fill up. Huh? I'm hungry. Hungry fella? Here you go.
done. Roasted apple dews with apple dews. I can't tell if you're actually excited about this, or if you just enjoy seeing me suffer. <clears throat> How long do you think this is gonna last? The flow? Well, if we keep our consumption in check, I think a few days. No, I meant us. Us here. How long until they come get us? Ah. Uh. Do we have to talk about this? No, we don't have to. Good. Because if I'm being forced to do things against my will, just like before, then I don't know why I came all the way here. And FYI, you are the one that ruined the mood, not me. Hey, we'll never be able to take off in these conditions. We absolutely have to finish repairing the nest. Thanks for letting me know. You? All right. Let's talk about it. Fine. Uh, I was just gonna ask if you could switch off the light. Oh. You've been mulling it over this whole time? Of course I've been mulling it over this whole time. Thank you for adding one more thing to my mind. Hold on, are you telling me you hadn't thought about it before? You know what? No, I hadn't thought about it. I'm trying not to think about the apiary. Enjoy what we have here, even if it isn't much. Um... Do you really think that they can come get us here? If we could take the flow bridge here, then so can they. There's no way they can know where we are, is there? I cut off the auto nav, the astro lock, even the landing was all manual. I'm just saying, let's prepare for the worst. At worst, I kill them. Whoa, you. What? If that's what it takes not to go back, I'll do it. No problem. Kill them? Steal their ship. By the time they send more guys, we'll be far away. You're seriously not considering... Maybe not. Maybe I am. At worst, we'll know. You're scaring me. <laughs> oh, come on. You're totally safe. You're my teddy bear. I'm not sure how I should take this. <laughs> well, take me in your arms for a start. You aren't dressed yet? I put on my pajamas. I mean, to get out. Well, see... I was just wondering... Do we have to get out? Can't we just hang in the nest for once? Lounge around, read a book, watch a movie? We don't have movies. Right, sure, but... You know what I mean. Come on, the weather's great. But the weather is always great. For now? Who knows, tomorrow could be the beginning of the long winter months. It could last for years. One more reason to stock up on apple dews. Mm. You know, always being right is not necessarily a good quality. On the contrary, many people find it very unappealing. You? Not sure.
Do you remember where the apple juice were? Could we try and pick something else for a change? the ground shaking it's shaking it's shaking a lot Inside, I guess. Jeez. Huh. Is it over? Seems like it. A anything broken? No, no, I don't think so. Huh. Well, except. <sighs> it's not all lost. Well, it is a bit. Look. We can always search the islet, try and find a way to get to the other side. Such as? I, I don't know. A, a rope, a jetpack, spring-loaded shoes, anything. I don't want to be stuck here. It sucks. <sighs> Me neither. That's why we'll have to find something. Okay. walking I uh I think I found something huh <gasps> call me crazy but this looks like a bluten yep it looks like a flow bridge kind of like the one we took to get here but smaller is that possible why not we, we still don't really know how the flow bridges work in space but if the phenomenon can happen on a macro scale, then why not on this one? If there can be flow between two planets, why not two bits of a planet? Okay. If this really is a flow bridge, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. What? Flow bridges are linking one place to another, right? So this one definitely leads someplace. Wait, you want to just get on there without knowing where it goes? It goes elsewhere. I think that's as good a start as any. Huh. Um... Do we have everyone? Okay? Here. <laughs> then we're good. Looks like we're on another islet. Yeah. The bridge seems to be a link between the islets. If there are any others like this, we may be able to get back to the nest. Do you see what I'm seeing? Uh, a big ugly lizard? No. The mushrooms on its back looks like a type of hygrocybrubicins. Ah, is that good news? Like, can we eat it? Oof, <laughs> not at all. Unless you're looking for a quick way to unload your kidneys. But don't you find that symbiosis amazing? The movements of the lizard are helping spread the spores. As far as what the lizard is gaining, I'll have to study that closer.
Maybe it doesn't even know. Maybe we should tell it. No way. You don't get in the way of Mother Nature's plans. I'll make sure I remember that next time you have salad stuck in your teeth. <laughs> Have you ever seen such a thing? No, never. Must be an endemic species. I wonder if it's edible. Only one way to find out. Yes, you're right. I'll pick up some berries and run some tests. First, we'll need to observe any cutaneous reactions. Then we'll cook them to eliminate bacteria. Hmm. It's peppery. You did not. Go ahead. Try it. I'm sure you'll love it. Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah. That is peppery. Lightweight. Off we go. Let's pick these. I'm not sure these will go great with the apple dews. But where there's a meal, there's a way. You know what doesn't go great with apple dews? Apple, apple dews. <laughs> This is a pretty one. Seems like our mini flow bridge wasn't a unique occurrence. Good, because those things are really useful. Actually, what is that? We should take a closer look. Great. We can bring that back to the nest. Any idea what's underneath our feet, Mr. Geologist? I'm a biologist. Isn't that the same thing? Biology, the living. Geology, the rocks. And what makes you think this is not living, pray tell? Uh, it looks like a dust deposition. Some kind of rust. And it looks like this kind of rust is particularly sensitive to flow. What? Look beneath your feet. Oh, there's vegetation underneath. It was probably smothered. Good thing we came this way. That way, look. It looks like the rust has formed into a bigger chunk. Even the apple dew shrubs are completely covered. I hope this one will yield some nice and juicy fruit to thank us. There must be others. If we're lucky, they'll bring us back to the nest. This is where we came from. All right, I know.
should find the nest if we keep going north. Explain to me how you know which way north is on this planet. Uh, we should find the nest if we keep going straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you. I thought this planet was supposed to be a desert. Deserted. Not a desert. According to the archives, a colonization plan had been considered by the Apiary, with Exanova as the main provider. But the planet was eventually classified as inhospitable. Let me guess. High seismic activity? I don't know. The file doesn't say anything about that. Hmm. I hope we don't have any more unpleasant surprises. <laughs> you know what? Walking is nice too. That way, you have time to enjoy all the little bugs crawling around. I'm not seeing any bugs. That means we're walking too fast. state whoa 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 there is no way this thing is flying again don't say that you could make a rock fly with the right tools well maybe but not this one both wings are wasted the propellers were ripped off and i'm not even done checking the inside we weren't really planning on leaving were we we don't really have another place to go anyway i'm tired why are we always so unlucky? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Hold on. We decide to escape the Apiary, which apparently no one has managed to do before us. We punch in some coordinates really at random, only because some obscure document from Exanova vaguely attested to the existence of a habitable planet. By some kind of miracle, we cross the boundaries of the apiary without getting caught. We travel across space in a Class D ship that is totally not designed for that. And in spite of the fact that this is not all terrain, we land without breaking anything. We find food and flow on site even though we hadn't really planned for it. 
finally we get hit with an earthquake, all right. But we get out of it unscathed. The only real consequence is that the nest is a little bit busted. <laughs> and you think that we're unlucky? You. We are the luckiest people in the universe. That's... that's one way to see it. This planet is our chance to start a new life. With our own rules. Away from the apiary, from the matchmaker and all that bloot. And I'd rather endure a thousand earthquakes than risk being away from you. No. <sighs> what did you say this planet was called again? Source. Source. The beginning of something. Seems like it. Over there. Do you see that Zygoptera? Depend. What's a Zygoptera? A dragonfly. Then no. Whoa. What a mess. And now the nest is all akimbo. This feels weird. Yeah. We'll need to find a way to correct that. But it can wait until tomorrow. I think we've had our share for the day. We deserve some time to relax. If you know what I mean. You can do whatever you want, but I am going to bed. Okay? Uh, you? Wake up! It's okay. I'm here. That was just a nightmare. Everything's fine. That... that wasn't a nightmare. Sure it was. <laughs> Rest easy. No! I was awake. I, I could hear you. I just couldn't move or yell. I couldn't breathe. It was horrible. Yeah, seemed like it was. Do you want my opinion? I'm not a dream expert or anything, but... It wasn't a dream. I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were wide open. No, your eyes were closed. I'm telling you, they were open. I saw everything. You, the, the room, everything. Okay. Okay. What I meant was that it may have been because of the nest. What? You said you couldn't move. You were nailed to the bed. A bit like the nest which is stuck to the ground, right? You've been flying in this thing for years. I bet you're upset to see it in this condition. Huh. No kidding. Which means... That if we fix up the nest, this'll all go away? Could be. <laughs> Worst case scenario, the nest will be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope we'll eventually find the missing parts then. So I can get fixed up too. Picture upper. All right. Now we can see a lot clearer. Yeah. We're not there yet, but that should do the trick for now. Now we just need to figure out how to level the nest. The tractor globe is probably done charging. Let's bring it outside. Do you think it'll be enough to lift it? I hope so. Because I have no idea what else we can do. What if 
we grabbed a little snack for the road? Huh. Sounds good. I'll bring the first aid kit as well. Just in case. <laughs> Did it move? No, I don't think so. Balding Blute! Ugh, oh, it's over. It's not going back straight. We'll never be able to fix it. We are condemned to living on an incline in a broken ship forever. Until our body adapts and one of our legs starts shrinking to even us out. What's the issue exactly? Well, the back pain will be crazy, for one. And also, I don't know about you, but I personally like having a reasonably symmetrical body. I meant with the tractor globe. Ah. Not enough power, it seems like. The battery drains out even before lifting the nest a centimeter off the ground. Although, to be fair, it was originally designed to lift cargo crates into ships. Not the ships, themselves. What if we plugged it into a flow spring? I thought about that, but we'd have to be able to seal the pipe shut. Unfortunately, I don't think they make gaskets for flow springs from a distant planet. Perhaps we can make one. With what? Paper mache? Remember yesterday when I told you that rust scatters when it comes in contact with flow? We could use that feature to sculpt a gasket out of pieces of rust. You could do that? I don't think I could sculpt a nude statue of you or a super complex component, but molding a gasket? That seems doable. That's awesome! <laughs> Hold on, let's not start pushing before the panties are pulled down. Excuse <laughs> me? You've never heard of that saying? No. no. Uh, must be a truth thing then. That means let's not celebrate before we... Yeah, yeah. I got it. Anyway, how much rust do you need in order to <laughs> pull the panties down? Uh, I don't know. Four or five blocks like those we already got? Okay, so let's try and find that. I think we've got everything we need to mold a joint for the yep. tractor globe. All right then, ready when you are. I'm just waiting on you. I can't wait to get going. Sorry, I kind of missed my U-turn. We'll do better next time. Fits. That's a good sign. Let's get this ball rolling. What? What? Haven't you heard of that one either? Oh no, I have. It's just a really old-fashioned saying. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, <laughs> that's worse. Can you just switch on the track the globe, please? <laughs> okay. We just need to fix up the wings, and the turbine, and the hypopropellers, and... Don't be so cynical. Getting the nest out of the crevasse was quite a feat. Huh? No, don't get me wrong. I am genuinely delighted. I love fixing things up. But... I don't think we need to get started right away. <sighs> That's a relief. Before we start fixing anything, we'll need to find the replacement parts.
is also full of rust. Not for long. Be careful. These creatures don't seem to be in their right mind. I did notice that. Then we pacify it. Okay, so we're striking them. One of them is weakened. We should be able to pacify it. Copy that. You know what to do. I'm on it. Ugh. One left. Being sweet. Seems like it was the rust that made him aggressive. Any idea why? It could just be because they're uncomfortable. If the rust hurts them, that would explain why they're turning violent. But it doesn't explain why they're attacking us and not fighting amongst themselves. Maybe the rust is taking over their nervous system in some way, like a parasite. Or maybe it's because of pheromones you can also say, I don't know. I'd understand. Okay. I don't know. You hear that, Oink? You're a scientific mystery. Oink. His name is Oink now. Golden nuts? Aren't we the lucky ones? Uh, what are they? You've never heard of boba nuts? They're one of the most nutritious nuts. 25% carbohydrates, 50% protein, 75% lipids. Great. But how does it taste? Didn't you hear what I said? 75% fat. <laughs> of course it tastes great. Enjoying the view? Definitely. Another thing from home. How many do you think Axanova built before they realized it wouldn't work? Two already seems like a lot. Throwing money around isn't exactly within the company culture. Neither is canceling a project for that matter. 
I'm not surprised that everyone remained discreet about this whole failed colonization business. I am surprised by the fact my mom has never mentioned it to me. I don't think Exanova wins colonization contracts on the regular. These buildings look kind of old. Your mom may not have been head of the company then. She may not have been with the company at all. Yeah, that's possible. Still, it's weird. Agreed. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. You've been spotted. You! That didn't seem to bother him much. Are you okay? Started. <laughs> Girl, eat that. He didn't like that too much. <laughs> that looks bad. <laughs> you? Yep. Uh -huh. <sighs> Great job. You're welcome. No way. Okay, so he hates this. Oh, come on! Ha! Ow! Eat it! Hey, that's cheating! I need to weaken it first! Now what? Babe! <clears throat> Your turn! I'm on it! to do. I got this. Goodbye. That was easy. are empty. Mine too. We need to find a full thread. Do you think it could carry us all the way up there? Only one way to find out. Finally! 
Finally! Seems like that's the highest we'll get. That wasn't too far off. Look, there's another bridge over there. Ugh, I wanted to go all the way up. We'll have to lay off the apple dews then. Think so? Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah. It's probably satellite debris or a rocket propeller? This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. They're Brian's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes. I like. <sighs> oh. Huh. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> I think I could fall asleep right here. You? Ah. Uh... You. <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back. Go bloot yourselves! You. It's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh, sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come. You know what we should have packed? Marshmallows? My guitar! You... have a guitar? Well, yeah. Where is it? At my house. On top. Well, I guess these days I can't really call it my house. Or even say it's my guitar. I didn't know that you played. To be honest, I wouldn't really say that I play. My mother's had me take courses when I was little. I took them for two years and then I got tired. I never touched it again. I even called it an old-timey instrument. <laughs> but I don't know. Now, with the campfire and everything, hmm, I wish I could pull it out. Oh, I would have played along on the harmonica. Because you play the harmonica? No. But since we're imagining things, let's just run with it. Yeah, you're right. I can already picture it. We could have founded a band. The number one band on Source. A Yuki! It's an anagram of you and Kay. Yeah, I got that. I was thinking more along the lines of... The Flow Phantasm. Very poetic. Isn't it? Why not? The Weavers. <gasps> Ooh, not bad. Mm, dual Flow. Acrocillin Blues. Hmm. 
where the heart is. A mare. <gasps> Apple do stew. Oh yeah, I definitely like that. We are so Apple do stew now. We'll bring the house down. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. We just need to find stuff to repair the nest now. We just need to?